Hello everyone. How are you today? Okay. So the day seems to be happy. Okay, so I think we also need to be happy because we are going to talk about speeding toward tomorrow. Okay, by the way, my name is Teacher Nina and I am really glad to see you. Okay, let me just ask you a question. Do you love to travel? Okay, where do you love to travel? <laughs> okay, so would you like to travel as fast as possible? Okay, so, well, you've got to see this thrilling information about traveling because um, I know that you love to travel. Okay, so here in the picture, what can you see about it? I mean, what can you say about it? Okay, so this is like a tube. Okay, so what's the connection of this tube to traveling stop? Okay, so are you familiar of this one? Yes, the Hyperloop. Now, if you're not yet familiar about it, let us familiarize ourselves with Hyperloop. Okay, so we're going to read yes speeding toward tomorrow okay so let's read on may 11 the hyperloop took its biggest yet biggest yet step toward reality okay one of the two leading companies working on the concept hyperloop one successfully and publicly tested its propulsion system in the nevada desert the company sent a sled from 0 to 170 kilometers per hour in slightly more than a second. Wow, amazing. <laughs> okay, so the sled ended its 120 meter journey in a pile of sand. Okay, so let's continue. The Hyperloop 1 test is a significant moment in Hyperloop history. But the propulsion system is only one aspect of working aspect of a working hyperloop. Also required is a is some kind of levitation system. Mm. It needs to lift a pod above its track, increase its speed. And a low pressure tube is needed for the pod to reach high speeds. Oh, okay. Hyperloop 1 has yet to show the public either of these elements, but it has promised a full-scale demonstration by the end of the year. Okay, maybe it's uh, year 2017? Okay, even if the Hyperloop is shown to be technologically possible, it will face many challenges many challenges so what do you think are these challenges <laughs> okay so let's find out to continue government involvement in regulations could be stumbling stumbling blocks so could money experts say that a hyper hyperloop route from San Francisco, California to Los Angeles, California, see hyperspeed, could, could cost $6 billion to build. Oh my gosh, we're talking about billions already. <laughs> it's so expensive, but I think it's all worth it. Okay, some say even that estimate is too low. Okay, still, the executives of Hyperloop One say the test shows that it will be the first company to construct a successful Hyperloop. We can assure you that we're the one company that's ahead of the others in executing on this vision. Okay, said CEO Rob Lloyd before the test. Okay, so they're assuring assuring the public okay so who is this person in the picture who do you think is he 
So, let's read the caption. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk came up with the Hyperloop idea. Wow, amazing! So, this person was the one or is the one who made the idea of Hyperloop. Wow, he is very smart. <laughs> okay, amazing. So, we have here the words, okay, in the picture, this is an example of Hyperloop. Look at the picture, it's very tacky. Okay, we have here the power words. Levitation, wow. Okay, so levitation is a noun. And the definition is the act of hovering or rising in the air. Okay, and the propulsion, it is also a noun. The action of pushing something forward. Okay, so propulsion and levitation. So you could use these words. When we say levitation, it's rising and propulsion is pushing. Okay, very nice. And then, let's just define the word regulation or regulations. What do you think is the definition of regulations? Okay, so that's right. Here. Okay, in the chat window. Regulations. A rule or directive made and maintained by an authority. Okay, here. Let's first use the word regulations in a sentence. We need to follow the rules and regulations. Okay, so that is an example sentence. Okay, my question is, would you like to use this hyperloop when you travel? Okay, so I wanted to hear your answer in class. And uh, so I want you to enroll yourself at Petra Academy whenever you're available. My name is Citrinina again and... Um, we are going to learn a lot of lesson when you enroll yourself in uh, in class. Okay, so see you and have a great day. Bye bye.